Hey folks, Dan Frio here with your real estate update for January 30th, 2024. So in today's video, we're going to talk about is jobs and the housing market, the strength or the weakness of the housing market. Is it up or down for the year? What is it? That's what we're going to talk about. Why do we talk about these things? Because that's what the Federal Reserve really monitors. So we really try to figure out what's the thought behind what the Federal Reserve is thinking based on a lot of the numbers are coming out right now, because remember the Federal Reserve said they're data dependent. In today's video, we're going to go over that data. So without further ado, let's get to it. So my name is Dan Frio. I do this report on a daily basis. I'm a mortgage advisor licensed in all 50 states. Would love to help you if you're looking to buy your first house in 2024, maybe your first investment property. I'll give you all my information at the end of this video so you can reach out to me and my team for help. So other than that, let's get to my reporting. So what you're seeing on the screen right here, if you're new to the channel, these are the top six programs people use when they're buying their first house. These are not my rates. These are not any individual bank's rates. What they are is Mortgage News Daily right there at the top. They survey lenders all over the country and ask them these five questions. The five questions are, if you had a borrower looking to buy their first home, first time home buyer, it's going to be their primary home where they live and it was a single family home, but there's two more things. They have a 780 credit score and they're putting down 25%. Now you don't need a 780 credit score and you don't need to put 25% down. So if that's, if you're looking to see if you qualify based on what your scenario is, like I said, at the end of this video, I'll give you all my information. So these are what rates are, they're easing a little bit, but they're just kind of steady, you know, tracking around right now. What's going to happen between today and tomorrow? is a lot of people, especially bond traders, are gonna basically just sit on the sidelines waiting for what the Federal Reserve's gonna do tomorrow because tomorrow the Federal Reserve comes out and they tell us if they're gonna increase rates, if they're gonna pause rates, or maybe they're gonna start reducing rates. So that's what we're gonna find out tomorrow from the Federal Reserve. So what we wanna focus in, like I said on this channel, is the, the data that the Federal Reserve monitors. And we had some of that come in today. So the first thing we wanna look at is right through here. Uh, we're gonna go through the what the housing market's doing in regards to values, and then also a jobs number right down through here. So what you're seeing right here, the S&P Case-Shiller Index, this is an index that basically Wall Street follows to give us what, the, what is going on with real estate. So if you see this, there's two components right here. This one is month over month. So it's no, uh, October to November of 2023. And then this one goes year over year. So it's basically 2022 or November of 2022 to November of 2023. What happened to prices nationally? So you see there's a little bit of a pullback right now. The previously reading from month over month was houses were up 0.1. Now they're going down 0.2. So we're starting to see a little bit of crack in the foundations, not that crash that a lot of people were expecting. And then this is the area that's going to drive people nuts. Remember back in 2021 and then 2022 and then 2023, everybody's like, the housing market's going to crash. Well, I hate to give you some more bad news, folks, but the housing market isn't crashing. Like I predicted uh, over the last two years, S&P Case-Shiller Index says year over year home prices, the last reading that was up 4.9, it's up 5.4%. So it means house prices nationally, Went up from November of 2023 to November of 2024. Take that back. November of 2022 to November of 2023, they went up 5.4%. So you might be saying, okay, not in my market, not in that market, not in this market. I'm going to give you a tool in just a little bit for you to figure out, you know, what is your market, your specific market doing? Okay, so that's one of those con the context there. Then we have consumer confidence. It's basically, I'll say it's steady. I don't know how any, anybody can be confident in this market because there's so many ups and downs. But then the jolt index. What the jolt index is, is how many job openings there are or transfers in jobs, okay? That number was 8.9 uh, million previously. It was supposed to drop just a little bit, but it actually exceeded and hit the 9 million mark and is climbing. So that is one area that's saying, okay, businesses are, are hiring, there's job openings, but they're not able to fill those. Why? So as the job openings numbers go up, this is a little bit bad news for the economy, not because it's saying people are out of work, it's just saying employers need more employees right now. And that's causing you know some conflict because they're saying, okay, is there a demand there? Is it going to increase? Is it going to cause or you know basically make it that the employers are going to have to pay more money for employees, and that's going to hurt in the inflation numbers? Okay, so that's the biggest numbers that we have today. But then you see also numbers like this: UPS announces a twelve thousand dollar, twelve thousand in job cuts. So we're starting to see airlines cutting, tech companies cutting, now UPS cutting. Why? 
volume starting to slip. So that means people are starting to buy less things. Okay. So if you're not shipping all this stuff through Amazon, you're starting to see maybe cracks in the foundation there. So maybe this is the, the economy just starting to balance on where the supply and demand is on things. So that's that first context. And then let's take a deep dive into home prices. Home prices begin to cool in November after nine straight months of gains. S and P K Schiller index says, if you go down through here, it's basically telling us areas of concern and then areas that are doing pretty well. So if you really break down this content, it says home prices in November fell 0.2 from October. So October, 2023 to November of 2023, home prices went down nationally 0.2%. Those areas uh, that are getting the most affected is uh, Seattle and San Francisco reported the largest declines. So you're probably going to see the doom and gloomers out there using these two pieces of the puzzle as their their basically poster child to say, look, the markets are crashing. But you know they have to really pay attention to other areas. When you go down through here, it's also saying the home prices are going up. So San Francisco and Seattle are, are having you know come some issues right now, but on an average, home prices are still continuing to go up. And that is also the reason behind that is there's still no there's there's demand, but there's no inventory. If you can't if you're looking to buy something, there's nothing there. When something does come up, you have to pay over and above asking to buy that. And we're still to this day, we're still getting uh, multiple offers on homes, believe it or not. Um, one of the things that we're going to have later this month or actually next week, we're going to have the founder and owner of Altos. It's a fantastic system. It's a system we use behind the scenes to figure out and help you guys. What is your local market doing? Because like, for example, I live right outside of Chicago. Do I really care what Seattle is doing? I don't. OK, so what I can do to this with this Altos is I can plug in my zip code where I live and it's going to give me all the facts about my area. So you can re actually rely on this data versus people just pounding the table telling you how bad things are. So we're going to have uh, this young man with us next week on our live event that's coming up every Wednesday. We have a live event and uh, the founder of this company is going to join us next week to explain, you know, the markets and, you know, go over this tool with you guys and we'll be live. So we'll be able to dig into specific questions you guys have and he can punch it in right online so you can see what your local market's doing. So based on the news that we have today, what's the markets doing? Well, right through here, mortgage rates are going up a little bit. Basically what's happening right now, the Federal Reserve is going to come out tomorrow and tell us what they're going to do. But right now the bond traders are just kind of manipulating the, their positions right now by the end of the day. I'm expecting this to completely be flat today and flat all day tomorrow until the Federal Reserve comes out. So you're probably not going to see mortgage rates move at all between today and tomorrow until the Federal Reserve comes out. But based on this data, you know, we're, we're expecting more mortgage rates to go up a little bit. Let me explain the reasons behind this. We're seeing right here, this is an MBS. It's an MBS 6.0. But basically what this is, is it's a mortgage bond that trades on Wall Street. That's yield is the biggest component of your mortgage rate. No matter what bank you go to, they go off of the yield of this bond. So that's why we watch this bond. Right now you're seeing the price of this bond is down 14 ticks. All you need to know is this. If the price goes down, rates go up. If the price goes up, rates go down. Let me show you an example. Let's go out about a month. Well, let's go out two or two or three months. Right through here is where we saw back in October rates hit the 8% level. We haven't seen 8% in years and years and years. Well, that's when the bond price was right here. What I was explaining is as this price goes up, the rates come down. So we came up all the way up to here. And then right through here, we were at a rate about 6.3%. From there, it's teetered a little bit and gone down just a little bit. And that's making the rates today at 6.88%. We were teetering just on 7% just the other day. So like I said, I was going to explain to you guys what I am and what I do. So again, my name is Dan Frio. I'm a licensed mortgage advisor with all in all 50 states as well as Puerto Rico. I'd love to help you in two ways. One, if you've already got, you know, you've got pre-qualified for a loan, but you're not closing for 30 days, but you're locked in. And that now the rates have come down a little bit. So how do you, what do you do? Are you stuck? No, you're not stuck. We would love to help you analyze your scenario with up to, I think we're about 73 lenders right now with up to 73 lenders throughout the entire country to see, can we get you a better rate? Maybe lower fees, maybe all the above. Can we get you a lower rate and lower fees? What you need to do is upload your loan estimate right there. We do need all three pages of your loan estimate to do this analysis. So please make sure you upload your loan estimate right into there, all three pages. 
But if you're out there and you're like, Dan, I, I would really like to see if I qualify for a house. You know, I'm self-employed. I might have a prior bankruptcy. I might have, you know, multiple jobs. H how do I maneuver this? Well, reach out to us. You know, our apply now button right up there. It's a little bit different than most. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click it. And then you're gonna answer some questions before you actually put in your application. Why do we do that? Well, we wanna figure out what loan product is best for you. So by answering those questions, I'm gonna assign you to somebody on my team that specializes in exactly what you're looking for. Or what you can do is if you want, call in, give us a call. So when you're at the rateupdate.com, don't forget all these tools we have up here, mortgage calculators and the whole mess. You're gonna go down through here and you're gonna see blogs and mortgage calculators and the whole mix of things. But when you get to the bottom, you're gonna see two things. One is our 800 number, eight, or 4775 loan, please give us a call or email me directly. It's dan at the rateupdate.com. And yes, it is me that answers those questions for you. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. We'll be tomorrow. We're going to be uh, have a, my morning video to explain to you guys what my thoughts are exactly what the Federal Reserve is going to do. Then we're going to have a live event to go over any and all the questions that you have at two o'clock central time. Love to have you there. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you liked my content, please don't forget to subscribe right down below. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a fantastic day.